Hello and welcome. This is JNY Otaku Gamer and Diving in MU Legends. So hey guys, this is JNY Otaku Gamer. So I'm currently playing MU Legends. So I already have two characters. I have a level 32, TG Otaku, and a level 23, Ashes 23. So I'm gonna be introducing you to the classes available in any legend. So let's go. So there are five classes available in any legends. You have the Dark Lord, the Blader, the War Mage, Mage the Whisper, and the Spellbinder. So let's start with the Dark Lord. So, the Dark Lord. He is a class with balance, offense, and defense. Based on its high health and defense, specializes in powerful and area attacks, and has a tactical role of protecting and boosting allies. So, uh, these are different armors he can have. And he has two types. A weapon, which is, I think this is a spear, and the other one is a shield and a hammer. Let's go, appearance settings. So there are two types of uh, Dark Lord. We have a human and a an ashes. I'm not sure what is an ashes, but it is an ashes. It's like a demon with uh, small horns. So uh, as you can see in ashes, uh, UI. Uh, he has a few face shapes and hairstyles. He has a lot of face tattoos and body tattoos, which can be changed. Color can be changed, change also. So that's it. As you can see. So these are the available tattoos for him. In human self, he has a lot of face shapes, a lot of hairstyles, and a lot of tattoos, body tattoos, face tattoos, and you can also change its color. Dep depends on what you like. Next, we have the blader. So the blader devastates enemies on the front line with a combination of equip charge skills and various crowd control skills. High mobility allows the blader to function as a melee character, attacker I mean, a frontline attack. So a blader can use a dual sword or just a single one-handed sword. So he's most likely a warrior. I think the Darkler is more like a tank and the player is more like a warrior. Or the more like the attacker, especially the blood lines. So I guess let's see. So he, he has a human and a Kantu. Not exactly sure what's a Kantu, but he is quite red orange, I think. So a Kantu, different face shapes, colors. Skin colors. Ooh, that's dope. He also have. Oh, he has different hairstyles. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> okay, I can go with the bald. And also face tattoos. You can also change the color of the face tattoos. Let's put it in light so we can see what type. Oh, that's cool. Very cool. And for human, I think it's quite the same. Is it? Yeah, there's a lot. Uh, hairstyles is the same. Color. That's cool. 
with tattoos, so cool tattoos. Oh, that's nice. In face tattoos. Next, we have the War Mage. So, War Mage is one of my uh, characters that I showed a while ago. So, he has relatively low health and defense, but can deliver the most powerful area attacks. Can be built in many ways, such as a mage type using a staff or an assassin type wielding a sword. So, uh, let's see. He has two types human and ashes. So as you can see, it's a bit, we call this, a bit few. Well, that's cool. Also a few hairstyles available. I think it's okay. And then his face tattoos. Let's see, can I zoom? Okay, I'm unable to zoom. But there is oh, and his tattoos. Let's see. Oh, that's nice. Let me let me darken the color color so I can see. Oh, there's a flameish tattoo. Sword. That's cool. Now for the human. So there are a lot more face shapes for human. And a lot more hairstyle. It's like Son Goku. <laughs> yeah, let's go with Son Goku. Why does it look solid? Well, let's go. Okay, we have face tattoos. And also body tattoos. Is the whisper so it's an archer with a bow and arrow so a powerful range damage dealer with high mobility capable of employing a wide range of strategies utilizing not only bows but also traps smoke shells and the power of nature check oh this is a new one it's a human and an elf uh, it's they're quite similar though so I uh, yeah, quite similar. Let's go with the elf part. Oh, she's cute. That's cute. She can also have face tattoos. Or like makeup. Oh. Body tattoos. Let's darken it up. Is that in the legs? Yeah, the legs. One on the legs. Is it? Oh, it's the back. And for human, it's more on the body. Oh, it's still the same. It's also in the legs. Next, we'll go with Spellbinder. So, Spellbinder, based on her ability to awaken lost power to control objects and mines. A spellbinder can free manipulate weapons to make range attacks. To mobilize or mind control a small group of targets. So yeah, she has two weapons. This uh, flying... What is this? Shuriken type. And this uh, circle weapon behind her. So she's a human and a kanturu. Oh wait. They look similar. But she's much prettier. So let's see. So these are the hairstyles available. That's nice. Oh, hair color. Human. Why does she look like a bunny? Okay, let's go with that face. 
Okay, let's go. Tattoos. Body tattoos. Oh, that's nice. Quite similar body tattoos. No, no, it's a bit different. From the uh, whisper. So yeah, that's the last of it. So those are the five classes available to choose from if you want to play Emu Legends. And this is found in Steam. It's free to play MMORPG and just download it. Thank you guys. And logging off.